Hello again, folks. We are out for another evening, and we've got another bamboo pit viper here. This time it's another relatively large female. You can kind of tell by the lack of any white striping on the face, and also, generally speaking, the size. I know it's tough to get a scale when we're looking at it on video like this, but really, really characteristic of large females. Nice big long deep set head. And it's just set up here in a little, uh, it's kind of like a little gutter uh, next to a trail. And it's just set up on uh, some vines on a fallen log, just waiting for something to run by. So pretty cool start. We're actually at the uh, beginning of a walk. It's uh, pretty cold out tonight, so we're not expecting much more, but We'll be sure to pop back on if we find any other snakes or other interesting animals. Alright, since it's late in the year and the snaking is a bit slow, I figure sex always sells, so why not a pair of mating false tiger moths? Very, very pretty animals, and it is the season for them. Lots of these out on the trail. Anyways, back to the walk. Check back in if we find something a bit more scaly. All right, we got our next snake, and it's another bamboo pit viper, another big female. But she's across the way on a little slope, right next to some weirdly hung bottle. It actually almost looks like somebody hung that up there. But, um, yeah, standard big female pit viper set up in ambush. All right, we're going to keep going. Check back in if we get another one. All right, we got our next snake. It's another bamboo. This time it's a juvenile male. Quite far away up another slope on a tree facing a rock. Um, but I can tell it's a male because it's got some very clear lateral striping and even from here I can see the white stripe on the upper lip. Not sure it'll come through on the camera as well, but pretty cool find. I think uh, bamboo's definitely out. Haven't seen any other species yet, but we're going to keep going. Probably about halfway through the walk in total. And fingers crossed we get some more snakes. I'll take more bamboos, but other species would be pretty cool too. Anyways, check back in if we find something else. All right, we've got another snake, and this time it's another bamboo pit viper, another large female. And actually, just before we came across this one, we walked past a very large common wolf snake, but it uh, went underneath a rock before we could get the camera out to film. So, all bamboos on camera tonight. Still pretty good, given that we're late in the year. But we're at the kind of end of the first stretch of the walk and we're about to start walking out. So hopefully we'll find something else on the walk out. There's still a little ways to go before we get to the road, but we'll check back in if we come across anything for sure. All right, folks, we're on our walk out. And right along the roadside that we walk out on is this beautiful female bamboo pit viper. And you can see here, literally right on the road, staked out, waiting for, I don't doubt, a gecko to wander by. Another really classic example of a female bamboo pit viper. No white on the mouth. Much longer, thinner, um, but deeper set head than the males get. And definitely a, a larger, longer body. Again, without scale, it's a bit hard to describe uh, the size difference, but the females are quite a bit larger. So, pretty fun. Uh, bamboo heavy night, but still a little bit of a walk until we get to the main road. And who knows? Maybe we will get another species on camera before we're done. 
anyways, we'll check back in if that happens. Otherwise, we'll pick back up on the next walk. Next Viper, right here, a teeny tiny little one, also set up in ambush right on the side of the road. So crazy night for Vipers, uh, maybe get a few more before we're done. But we're going to keep going, we're uh, getting close to the exit now, so this might close us off, but if not, we'll check back in. Alright, another bamboo. Not going to stick on this one too long, we got a short walk to the end here so really this time this one might close us out but we'll pop back on if we find another one crazy night for bamboos all right folks we're out for another night and first snake that we found just along the side of the trail here is a tiny burrowing rufus snake We've seen quite a lot of these on the vlog this year, especially earlier in the spring. It's one of the more common snakes we were finding for a while. Um, but they're a uh, fossorial snake or subfossorial snake, so they like to hang around in the leaf litter. And you can find them moving around at night sometimes like this one. Um, this is kind of a intermediate phase. They come in a really vibrant gold color and also in a really dark blackish purple color. Uh, this one is a little bit more kind of a super dark brown, so like I said, intermediate phase. But they're tiny snakes. This is about as big as they get. They can get a little bit bigger than this, but uh, not much. Very small species. Uh, tiny little heads used for burrowing. And a pretty cool scale pattern of uh, kind of like an interlocking scales. Uh, a little bit unusual for uh, species here in Hong Kong. And they have really, really iridescent scales as well. This one's got a little bit of water on them, so it's kind of hard to tell, but really shiny scales. Here's the, the belly. You might be able to see some of the iridescence there. Um, but this one's actually being quite calm. I think it'll be happy to get on its way, but also maybe happy to have some warmth from my hand because it's a bit chilly out. Um, so cool first find. Haven't seen one in a while. Uh, we literally just started our walk, so hopefully this means that there'll be more in store for us. If so, we'll check back in. Right, we've got snake number two tonight, and it's a trusty bamboo pit viper. This one appears to be a male. You can tell by the white stripe above the lip. Found quite a lot of these on this vlog, obviously, but this is the time of year for it. Things are getting colder. A lot of the less hardy species are slowing down or maybe even uh, going under for a while, waiting for things to warm up or get some opportunistic good weather and so we end up with a lot of the more hardy species which even though these are tiny fragile looking green snakes are actually really robust very capable of dealing with cold weather and uh, challenging climate and things like that so we're still kind of at the beginning of the walk I imagine if we find anything else tonight there's a very good chance there'll be more of these so we will check back in if we do Alright, it's been a long walk, and we've seen a number of bamboo pit vipers along the way, but they weren't in great spots to film. But this one sure is a tiny little, what looks like a female, I can't really tell, could be a male with a faint stripe, um, but looks like a tiny little female just set up an ambush in this grass patch facing a rock, waiting for a gecko to come by. So... Pretty cool. Very uh, fun to find these guys, even though they're pretty common out here. But we're almost at the end of the walk, like I mentioned, so this, way, this one may close us out. If not, we'll check back in, but pretty successful night. Late season, uh, almost double-digit snakes, almost all bamboos, of course, but still pretty good. All right, check back in if we get anything else.